Hi awesome people, welcome back to my channel, Timambi here and today we are reacting to another movie from the Star Wars series or the Star Wars saga. So today we are reacting to episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Now there was quite a discussion or even a small debate down in the comments uh, when I made my second video on this channel um, reacting to episode 5. So they were like kind of two camps or two sides of fans or people who are really into Star Wars and they were discussing in which order is it is better to, to watch the episodes. Initially some, some of you after my first video recommended to watch number four number five then number one two three and finishing with the sixth episode now there are uh, there were many many people who wrote the comment in the comments that uh, it is better not to break the release order and to watch the episodes in order or in sequence that they were actually released so initially i thought i would maybe break that uh, release order sequence but um now I'm thinking maybe since the most of you, since most of you really suggested and like persuasively recommended to watch it in the release order, I will try to watch it in the release order. After all, like remembering my parents, I mean also some of you, I thought uh, of your comments, some of you are actually right because even my parents, uh, they were, they didn't have a choice here, so they were watching first the ones which were released initially yeah back in like 70s and 80s yeah and then already the re more recent ones so like m not only my parents but most of us yeah most of the people and most of the fans who follow the star wars series they were watching in that particular order what there was actually no choice of course now we have choice but uh it was quite a decision i had to make a choice because i can't <laughs> i can't unfortunately i can't make two choices here so i had to choose and uh, I chose uh, to watch um, the old movies first, so today we're watching episode 6 and then we will continue and after episode 6 I will react to episode 1 and so on and so on. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's what we are uh, doing today. I'm very, I'm a bit sorry, yeah, I'm sorry for the fans or followers who suggested the other version, yeah, to, to which I initially agreed. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I, I hope you will not be disappointed still in my reaction. I think I will not be disappointed myself, to be honest. So either way, either way, I would be still invested into the events, and yeah, will be very much looking forward to which uh, to see the development of the series. So yeah, uh, now without further ado, let's jump into the episode six. Sit back, relax, take your favorite snack, take your hot or cold drink. And let's enjoy this time together watching episode 6. Hope you will enjoy this experience. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so 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 much for your support. I'm so grateful. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot to produce further likewise content. Other than that, yeah, please uh, leave a like after the video. Leave some comment what you think about this episode. Yeah, maybe some recommendations or suggestions or whatever thoughts you have. So, okay, let's jump into the movie. Starting our approach to deactivate the security shield. Inform the commander that Lord Vader's shuttle has arrived. Hmm. Okay. Here comes uh, the Lord himself. Hmm. I assure you, Lord Vader, my men are working as fast as they can. Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. Hmm. The Emperor's coming here? That is correct, Commander. And he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. Okay. Yeah, our friends, R two D two and three PO. Hi guys. <laughs> Best buddies. Best buddies ever. Oh, what is that? R two D two is so fearless. Oh no, there's a spider. This guy looks so creepy. <gasps> Jeez, he looks so creepy, man. I like it in a way, but oh, and this is this green. I mean, this makeup is amazing. Nineteen eighty-three, right? <laughs> wow. 
Please leave R2D2 alone. Don't scare our friend, you creepy. With your wisdom, I'm sure that we can work out an arrangement which will be mutually beneficial. Basically, Luke has arrived to try to uh, save Solo, the character of Harrison Ford. Yeah, so we are. Uh, his mission is to save him, right here, as I, as I understand. Mm -hmm, okay, let's see how it goes. As a token of my good will, Dr. Lady, I present to you a gift. These two droids. What did you say? <gasps> Both are hard working and will serve you well. What? A gift? Seriously? No way. There's something. No, I I can't believe Luke can give up on his friends like that. No, he's, he has some... He has some plan, I feel, right? Oh my god! Poor thing. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This job is disgusting. Oh, he's so unpleasant. Oh my god, I don't like him. No. Because he's holding a thermal detonator. What? Did he indeed agree to the offer? Oh, was it that guy from. Oh, I don't recall if it is him. By the way, I'm a bit overwhelmed with the uh, amount of different creatures <laughs> of this uh, Jabba party and like his house or residence or whatever. There's so many actually. The number of those characters, yeah, is impressive. <gasps> oh, Solo, Captain Solo. <gasps> is this our friend? But he was wearing a mask of enemy. <gasps> warming up, warming up. Please tell me that he is alive. He looks... he looks alive, though. I can't see. Uh, I in time. Where am I? <gasps> Someone who loves you. Oh... By the way, some of you told me in the comments under my second video that actually Harrison Ford and the character, uh, I forgot her name, um, the character of Leah, they had a fling or they had some romance in real life, a moment of shooting Star Wars. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. This looks really freaky. That thing swallowed him without chewing. Oh, uh oh. Luke should be careful. Last time, last time, some snow, now some sand. Okay. What's on his head? Ah, uh, he's having drinks! Is R2 having a cocktail? <laughs> it's Lando. Right, that guy is Lando. Name's Lando. Okay, good move, Leia. Good move. Come on, choke that ugly, ugly, freaky, disgusting Jabba. Mm. Kill him. He honestly deserved it. Oh. This is a huge army. <coughs> oh, he doesn't feel well. <gasps> he, yeah, that's what that's what Alden Week. So that's what I thought he felt. The life saturated with awesome events, Yoda. So yeah, <laughs> should be happy about it. I've come back to complete the training. No more training you require. I already know you. That which you need. Then, okay. Only then, a Jedi will you be. <gasps> okay. Once Luke confronts Vader, only then he becomes a Jedi. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see if it happens by the end of this episode. Let's see. <clears throat> Fear, passion, the dark side are they. 
once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Another Skywalker? Who is he though? Will they tell us? I was amazed how strongly the Force was with him. I took it upon myself to train him as a Jedi. I thought that I could instruct him just as well as Yoda. I was wrong. I'm just hoping that I don't know, the Sun Father connection could help in this. I don't know. Would be interesting. I'm, I'm just making because I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm just making predictions. So, uh, looking forward to explore this. Layers, my sister. Your inside serves you well. What? What? No way. Leia is his sister. The shield must be deactivated. My team's ready. I don't have a command crew for the shuttle. Okay, old good Harrison Ford is back. Or old good Captain Solo is back. <laughs> Cheeky one. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> I want you to take her. I mean it. Take her. You need all the help you can get. She's the fastest ship in the fleet. All right, old buddy. <laughs> she all won't right. get a scratch. Is he treating a ship like his girlfriend? <laughs> like some men treat his, their cars like a, like female. So he calls a ship she. So. Is it kind of his lady? <laughs> is it? Is it? Do I understand it correctly? Luke said the Vader is on that ship, but he indeed can feel it because he, they have this connection now. I'm endangering the mission. I shouldn't have come. It's your imagination, kid. Come on, let's keep a little optimism. Beautiful forest. Is it somewhere in Canada or? Some sub subtropical country, can't tell. Beautiful. Oh, that was. Uh, oh no, that was unlucky. Mm, Harrison Ford <laughs> messed up the mission. <laughs> Yeah, good job, guys. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. And he who said it was pretty here. <laughs> Sometimes I have a question, as some of you mentioned. Uh, so basically, R two D two and R three P O. They were real humans, real actors inside those costumes. I just wonder, <laughs> it's maybe a stupid, stupid question, but I wonder in case of 3PO, if he just accidentally fell down, since he, his joints are not so flexible, so he would, I would assume he would just uh, fell down straight forward or straight back. I wonder if it hurt and how, how he managed to get up. Oh. He, he looks kind of cute. Come on, sit down. <laughs> I promise I won't hurt you. Now come here. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, snake always works. <laughs> snake. Oh yeah, he's in. He's in. Oh, what is that? <laughs> that was a trap. Nice work. <laughs> oh, Chewy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Always thinking with your stomach, right? <laughs> hey, point that thing someplace else. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> his, fa his favorite phrase I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Oh, so cutie! Oh no! What's happening? 3PO is flying! What's happening? Some... Is it no gravitation or what? Ah, 
cheating by my, my, my stupid head. It's like actually Luke, it's Luke using his force on 3PO. Got it. I thought I thought it's like suddenly no gravitation. <laughs> okay. 3PO has a new friend. <laughs> Story time. What are those small creatures though? They're pretty cute. Sister has it. It's you, Luke. <gasps> but why must you confront him? Because there is good in him. I felt it. <gasps> he won't turn me over to the Emperor. I can save him. I can turn him back. That brings up. That was, that's what I was wondering. So Luke now himself is saying that he feels um, that he can turn that Wida to the good side, so he's actually optimistic that he can turn his father to the brighter side. Okay, that's what I was thinking about, whether he can actually try to find the human soul and human value in his father. Come with me. <gasps> mm. What a twist, right? Just in the last episode, uh, that way they told him told Luke, come with me, and now it's vice versa. So now Luke tells his father, come with me. So they're like dragging each other towards bright and dark side. <laughs> that's that's interesting. Who what will, who will win, like the, the bright side or the dark side? That's the question. You can't do this. I feel the conflict within you. Let go of your hate. It is too late for me, son. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not bad for a little furball. <laughs> this guy, this the Captain Solo comments, I don't know, make me make me chuckle all the time. <laughs> I don't know, he's really hilarious. I'm looking forward to completing your training. Oh, the Emperor! Jeez, jeez, jeez! He's looking really creepy. His eyes and his skin. Oh, is Emperor human? He looks like a reptile. In time, you will call me master. That sounded persuasive. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Your faith in your friends is yours. Actually, I can see how a transformation of the character is happening in a good way. That he has like more confidence now. He's like not afraid. And no, he was a brave. He was a brave uh, person before, of course, but. Yeah, currently I can see how he is gaining more and more confidence on himself and like more power. And I can see this slight kind of trans transformation of Luke's character towards the like more persistent, more like kind of bold, like more being more bold as a character, it seems to me. In the end of your insignificant rebellion. Honestly, the Emperor gives me chills. <laughs> you, like your father. We surrender. Yeah, yeah. Our little furry friends came to rescue us. Yay! On one, this is goal leader. The turret, all craft, prepare to retreat. You won't get another chance of this, Admiral. We have. This guy looks a little bit like a fish. <laughs> I don't know if it's... It would be interesting to, to watch the behind-the-scenes movie and just just to watch and see where the creators were finding the inspiration for creating these um, characters. The Alliance will die. As will your friends. Take your weapon. Strike me down with all of your hands. This is so cruel. So basically, he's trying to manipulate, and the emperor trying to manipulate him, and like provocating him so badly. Here is the enemy who actually doing this towards my friend. Yeah, like it's really so tempting to lose the temper and like fall into that rage mode. So I mean, I don't know how much longer he will remain in peace before chopping chopping up the emperor. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> it was a wrong wire, Captain Solo. I will not fight you. Oh, I, for I forgot to tell. I really love that way the costume. Uh, his all kind of appearances so portrays, I don't know, it portrays some danger, some darkness. I like his kind of like heavy, a bit heavy, like dangerous um, presence. That atmosphere that he creates, I, for some reason I like, I don't know, I know that he's enemy, but um, yeah, and yet I like, I like kind of his, uh, his enemy personality, if I can say like that. Uh, because some enemies, yes, some enemies are just like this Jabba, yeah, Jabba is like, oh, it's like the feeling more, a feeling of disgust and kind of like, ew. But uh, that way, then, he raises some mixed feeling in me. So for some reason, so I, I understand that he's really cruel, but at the same time, there's some, something exciting about his enemy personality. Maybe it's very loud to say, but I somehow I have some like respect to, towards his kind of boldness, like to his like kind of bold uh bold character Ex extreme edginess hmm there's something about him oh, wow betray you, father. i feel the good in you the conflict there is no conflict you could... for some reason yeah maybe i have this kind of um more or less like not very like angry feelings towards that later but i really have angry feelings towards uh, bad feelings towards this emperor so the, so towards the emperor what i have zero sympathy, sympathy whatsoever for some for that way the, maybe because i have a hope i think i interpret it as because i have a hope that he uh, he will consider coming back to brighter side or yeah some part of me believes that maybe that way they will set Luke free kind of and let him go and just forget about all this and maybe he will consider he will feel this oh, father feelings I don't know that's why maybe I, I still have some kind of a bit empathy towards that way there but I have no empathy to towards this emperor no not at all oh no if you will not turn to the dark side <gasps> then perhaps she will <laughs> Oh, it was so low, man, so low. Yeah, he's playing so badly on Luke's feelings. Oh! Take your father's place at my side. I hate him. I don't like this emperor. Kill him. Kill the emperor. I'm a Jedi. Like my father before me. Yes, yes. Yes, well done, Luke. Eat that, you ugly, pale reptile thing. Oh no, my poor Luke. Oh no, he's not. I, I, I believe that he has some piece of heart in him. Come on, that waiter. You're not so cruel after all. Seriously? He almost sacrificed his life right now, right? Oh my god. I felt, I felt, I felt there is some, some good in him. I, I felt that he still has some bright side inside him. Some leftover of light inside that way, the heart. Will he see his real face? Oh, poor thing. I'll not leave you here, I've got to save you. He once was a good man, and he kind of still there's some good remained in him inside. He looks kind of exhausted, and yeah, for I feel for him. I feel for them both right now. Oh, oh, oh such a deep moment here yeah, of like reconnection, a deep moment of reconnection of father and son. It's heartbreaking in a way. It's emotionally touching moment. 
how he looks, the overall look of him is like, I was not expecting this look under the mask. Like, it's, now it's really heartbreaking. Oh, it's so hard. Must be. I mean, Luke just found his father finally, his real father, his kind, kind, real father, just for a couple of minutes. That was hell of a journey. <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, this is um, this episode here yeah, makes the whole story complete, of course. And uh, but still, yet I'm I'm very very stoked for the next episodes one to three. Um, so yeah, but um, actually, I. I don't know. For now, I, I don't regret that I watched this um, episode because, like, it makes this feeling of finished story. Yeah, so it's everything like the puzzle kind of came. At least in these like three episodes, you know, all the puzzles came together. Yeah, I'm very very looking forward to the next part. Yeah, but this this part was a very emotional at the end for me. Um, I would I, I can't say it was so much emotional throughout the episode, but yeah, when when Luke uh, saw the real face like of uh, his father and the bright side of his father, it was super emotional for me and it touched me a lot. So you're very powerful, very power, emotionally powerful moment. So yeah, I'm very glad that I yeah, experienced this, guys. So yeah, three episodes, four, five, six. I'm so I'm so happy that I watched them and experienced each each of the moment with you. Um, so yeah, I'm very much stoked and really looking forward to seeing the uh, next episode. So it will be most likely a one, two, three, and we we will uh, then see from there from there where we will go further. So yeah, and for now, yeah, I need to process, I need to consume and process this moment. It's still kind of inside my heart. Uh, this yeah, this this particular moment when Luke um, takes um, takes off uh, his father's mask and he sees his uh, face, looks uh, in his eyes, uh, and sees this kind of uh, the the face of kind of a sick man who suffered, yeah, who was exhausted, who struggled, I think, and. Uh, yeah, it's such a such a such a drastical such a drastic contrast when you see this kind of powerful that weight in this mask. Yeah, this kind of uh, no hint of any weakness. Yeah, very like bold and dangerous. And then when he takes off his mask, you can see this weak, sick, uh, weak and sick, and very like vulnerable um, old man uh, who who was just manipulated and dragged into this dark side and yeah he was um and yet he he remained this l l brightness and lightness in his soul and heart oh this is like such a powerful moment mm, very beautiful very beautiful actually so yeah guys thank you so 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 much for watching thank you so 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 much for your all of your support um Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Uh, this really means a lot. Thank you for those who subscribe to me. This means the universe to me. And yeah, I'm so excited to read your comments. I, I read every single comment. If I have a chance, I uh, answer uh, yeah, most of them or the ones who were really helpful or uh, encouraging. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for those comments. And yeah, I'm very looking forward to the next episode, guys. Let's be on this journey together. Okay, guys, I wish you all the best. Please take care, stay safe, be healthy. And yeah, stay tuned. And I will see you in the next episode, in the next reaction video. Bye!